how to identify pine trees. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to identify a pine tree and distinguish it from other evergreen coniferous trees. Uh, very simple, very easy. And really, when it comes to the evergreens, the coniferous, uh, you really can't go wrong. There are really only in North America, uh, one kind of poisonous one, uh, which is the yew tree and doesn't really grow in the Calgary area. So if you're, if you know, someone might have it in their yard. Um, but yeah, if you go by these characteristics to identify at least spruce and pine, the, the most common of cone bearing trees in Alberta and very common also throughout, uh, BC as well, then yeah, you'll, you'll be fine. So I've got a pine tree right behind me here and you're looking for obviously the needles, right? We've got a spruce over there also with needles. Now the needles on pine are quite a bit longer, right? So let me show you, you can see how long those needles are. Another very key identifying characteristic is that there's two or more needles coming out of the tree. Now, just for contrast, let's go look over at this spruce, very short needles, and it's just single needles at a time. Most of the growth is on top with the spruce, right? The, the needles, like it's kind of coming up and out. Whereas with the pine, it's growing all the way around in circular so it's it grows all the way around circular and it comes out it's you know in two or more needles emanating from the stem and they're quite long so that's your main identifying characteristic for pine not to be confused with spruce now here's a good thing <laughs> if you get them wrong pine or spruce no problem. They're both medicinal, both edible in that way. And uh, springtime, the spruce tips, you're going to get some young new growth popping out. Now, there's none here right now, but that fresh growth early in the year. You know, Alberta, again, it's probably more like June. Uh, those are very soft. They're tender. You can just eat them like a vegetable. Amazing. As well as make tea, so on and so forth. Um, another actually identifying characteristic of the spruce, and let me go down here and grab a little piece of it. Uh, you can think of it as like spiky spruce or stubbly spruce. And that is the, let me just zoom that in there. The stem, where the needles have come out, it's quite stubbly, right? So here's a little branch where the needles once were, they've all kind of died off, but you can tell they've left this kind of stubble. And then the needles themselves are quite, quite pokey. They're quite stiff. So stiff, stubbly, pokey. Good description of spruce. Whereas the pine, they're not that pokey. They bend quite easily in your fingers that are not stubby. They're long, kind of soft and wispy. And then the branch itself, oh, I'm not gonna call it smooth, but it doesn't have that same stubbly resistance that spruce does. So of course there's fir is another common one here as well. Uh, but yeah, look for pine specifically in the ways that I described. And of course they all are medicinal, cone bearing conifers evergreens just be careful careful of yew trees now you'll find yew other parts of the country but especially in alberta you're really only going to find it uh, in people's gardens uh, so it won't be an issue it does have little red berries uh, tiny little needles very soft we're not going to go into depth into describing that but hopefully that helps you identify what is a pine tree and how to be able to identify those pine needles if, if that's what you're after